Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Charlie, and welcome back to Academia. We are looking pretty good for the year. There's a couple of subjects where our seniors are kind of falling behind. Art is being one of them. We're going to change uh, a little bit of that, hopefully, with them using this. I'm also uh, kind of spamming <laughs> lots and lots of grass. Yeah, put a lot of money into this. Now, I also completed uh, a couple of grants just now, and they were just waiting for me to complete them. So, uh, actually, it looks like these are in... Oh, here we go. Arts and Crafts. We'd already had these done, so I just went ahead and accepted the grant done. School Architect was already done. Just went ahead and accepted it done. And we got a bunch of money and a bunch of prestige. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Now, we don't currently have a bank loan. No, we do. Yeah, let's pay this off right now. Uh, no, actually, let's not do that. Because today, let's pause it. We have a couple of rooms here I haven't built yet, and I want to build them. I have money to do it now. One is a music room. The current grant that we're doing right now is building a music room. Sound of Music. I've already been granted $6,000 to do it, so let's do it. So the music room is now in my high school. Music room is way over here. Okay. And I kind of want to move the clinic so that I can put the music room in here. But the music room it needs to be bigger than what I can accommodate. I think... Wouldn't it be really great <laughs> if the music room shared a wall with the library? Huh? Uh, does anyone does anyone think that's a bad idea? Hmm? Anyone think that's a... I don't think it's a bad idea. Let's do it. <laughs> music room's going here. Now, this means all these kids who want to do music have to come all the way over here. But that's okay. That's okay, because the music room is going to share a wall with the library. Now, in order to do that, of course, I'm going to need to build walls. I'll get it eventually. I need to build walls all the way up top here and all the way over. Once these walls are built, also apologies in advance if you hear any crashing or banging or extra noises that are not my voice. Lots of commotion happening upstairs. My wife is just now arriving home, so there's going to be a lot of that, and uh, there's nothing I can do about it. So there it is. Let's get rid of this wall. And by doing that in that order, this room remains indoors the entire time. Uh, also beige. You know what? Music room. Let's... Let's have the door be right here. And then we can close this. This is an exterior wall. So let's have that come all the way down. Now the music room has a couple of things we have to... You know what? Let's address this first. My gosh, it's very loud upstairs. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll try my best to cut it out. But I, at this point, I don't think I can fully cut it out. It's, there's actually a lot of noise. Uh, I'm going to put, put that there. And call that good. Now my music room actually had a double door. I don't really care. What goes in a music room? Where is music room here? Okay, so we need piano. One single piano. I assume the instructor plays the piano. We should put this as close to this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, let's put the piano kind of off, like right here. Probably good. And uh, tickle the Avery's with this beautiful grand piano. Yeah, how many. Like, what do they do with, the, like, what are they doing here? Are they going to play their own instruments or a chalkboard? Uh, we could put a cabinet. I guess we'll put the cabinet right next to the piano, I guess. And then, like, for flooring for this, uh, maybe we do the yellow carpet. Have we done yellow carpet yet? I don't think so. Or we could do a different, like, marble floor. Oh, yeah. Something where the, the noise really just echoes. Just give it a nice, solid, hard surface for it to bounce off of. I like it. Maybe we'll use this paper floor for it. That's fine. All right. Uh, and then I want to also get concrete tile brought all the way out to the end here. Because we're slowly making this all indoors, guys. It's very, very, it's very, very exciting for me. Uh, build walls brick. Let's just go like this for now. Really just lock that in to be indoors. And then, uh, while they're building this, actually, we need the, the chairs too, right? So, like, I'm not sure where they're going to do with these chairs. Like, do they, are they all playing their own instruments or what? I don't know. Put that there. In the meantime, we're going to also build another room, and that's the science lab. I've had this open, unlocked for a while. Science lab is a bit tricky, um, because in my high school science, the science classroom itself, like built within the classroom, the science classroom itself was the science lab. 
Like, they each had their own individual science lab stations and lab equipment in each of the rooms. Because, again, we, as students, move to the classroom that we're going to, not the teachers moving to the classroom, right? We, didn't, we don't have that. And that allows our science teachers to have all of the equipment that they need to properly teach, you know, science in their classroom with them and properly specifically made stations in the room because the students are going to come to that room. Not the case here. So, where are we putting the science lab? It wants to be 11 by five. We're gonna make it the same size as a computer lab. And uh, I think I'll put it over here. Same size as a computer lab, so that's like 11 by nine. It's gonna be about here. Uh, then, inside this, well, first off, we're gonna need, uh, let's see, right where, Let's see. It's like trying to figure out how to mark this. Oh, it's, it's going to be there. Yeah, that little piece of that little piece of dirt there. Okay. So we'll take the build beige wall, a little piece of dirt here up to there. Brick wall all the way around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. And then the doors. You were hoping for it. Come on. Go here. And then floors. We're gonna go for the science lab. Science lab. I think we can try the marble for the fancy parts of your school. We have a very high tech, very high tech guys. Teal carpet. I don't think a science lab should have carpet. Let's do marble. Why not? It's all the same price anyway, right? 20 bucks a tile. You pay just as much for a giant marble floor as you do for a concrete slab. So why not? And then we'll put the concrete tiles to here so that the students can, you know, properly walk to it without having to be in there. Now, eventually, I want to get this concrete all the way up to match this so that they have all these walkways. But for the time being, I'm only doing floor where they are actively walking, usually. Now, inside the science lab, I imagine this equipment's probably going to be a little bit expensive. So we may not be able to fully staff or fully equip this. Yeah, microscopes, periodic tables, science cabinets. So it looks to me like we need a couple of tables. I'm not sure about... Is it like the library where they all... Hmm. Maybe we try there, 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 and there. I think it looks like they stand. They may be standing. Hand sanitizer can go there. Chalkboard will go over here, I guess. And then we can put the science cabinet maybe there. The periodic table will go next to that. And then the microscopes. I don't know where we're gonna put this. Like, do we, does each student need to use this or? I don't know, does each student need to use this microscope or? I'm actually not sure. Let's, uh, because it doesn't actually tell me what the students are going to be using. Um, we'll put it over here, I guess. I'm not, again, I don't know whether or not I need one of these micro microscopes, like, at the tables or not, but we'll let the workmen get on that. Looks to me like they've already made the music uh, room, so let's go ahead and look at this. Oh, yes! Oh, yes. Oh, play it. Play it loud. The people in the library need to hear that. <laughs> play it loud. Again, not really true to how my high school was, but I mean, the music room was big and it was down here and the library was, I don't really care. <laughs> I just think it's funnier to do it this way. Uh, we could probably have a couple more tables in here too. And as long as I don't go under like 800 bucks, I should have enough money to survive. Because again, the uh, the buses charge me before I get my income. So, all right. Now, I think that's a big enough library, as long as I'm actually marking it as such. There we go. You see this? I got the common area all laid out here too. I probably want to expand this and have some more tables out this way. I wish there was something else I could put in here, though. Like, something else fun for students. 
Hang on. Chairs. Something else fun for students besides chairs and tables. Like, I, feel, I just feel like it's... I don't know. I guess I just feel like that's a little bit boring. But, oh well. It's an early access game, damn it. There's probably more things coming later. And also, there's mod support. So we can add mods and stuff all the, day, all the days, too. I don't know whether or not those mods will help me and do anything, but... I want to hear it. Oh my god, they're all playing. Yes! Yes, play! Play the music! Right next to the library. I love it. Alright. So Science Lab is next. It looks like the workmen have finally built the walls. That means they should start getting on the floor next, and then all the equipment will go in there. They'll have that for tomorrow. Take a look at the grades. This is day five. So we should see 45 in every subject. If it's lower than 45, they're struggling in that for graduation. So art is the big one here. I'm maybe hoping that uh, the music room will help with that. But I think a better art teacher is going to be needed. Uh, anyone that any subject where they're under 45 at the end of this day, they're falling behind passing. So it looks like science. Well, that lab should hopefully fix that. Science and uh, PE big time for sophomores, really. PE? No, that can't be right. PE for freshmen. Why? The field is right here. I don't understand that. Maybe we move the field. This field doesn't need to be here. Maybe we move it. We could go like... Uh... Well, then I have to redo the grass and stuff. We could just move it here. Hang on. Let's do it this way. Put the field... Like, right next to this. It doesn't have to be so big. Right? And then we can get the grass in here later and all will be good. You know what? I have the money, I think. Eh, it's, it's too close. I'm not going to do it. I was going to say, I have extra funds. I can lay one of these up, another one of these down. But we're making some pretty good money on those utilities. We're very green. We're a very green school. And no, I'm not referring to the, the dirt and the mud stuff that's not grass. Okay, good. So we didn't quite have enough to $1,400 to buy one of these. Didn't quite have enough for that. Let's take a look at grants, actually. Pause. Computational power. That's just ours. We've already done the computer lab. Done. Uh, except freshman transfer students, except junior transfer students, senior transfer students, and somehow sophomore transfer students. I guess these are in alphabetical order. Would have been nice. Oh, well. I see sophomores out of place here. Scientific method. Oh, science lab. We already have it done. Looks like it. Uh, done. Sustainable electricity. Place solar panel. Ugh. Okay, I guess. If you're gonna make me. If you're gonna make me, I'll place a solar panel. There you go. Let's just do that now. Yeah, place solar panel. And then it'll probably say place wind turbine. And we'll just rack up a bunch of money with that. And then, uh, you know what? Staff-only facilities are probably a good thing. They help with prestige, too. So let's go ahead and research those. Staff only facilities right here. 3,000 bucks. We'll go ahead and grab that. Solar panel's not placed yet. We're going to wait. And then uh, this will be all done. And then school expansion. Reach 100 students. That's already done. So we'll just do that too. I need to pay more attention to the grants. All right, hold on. Let me see how this is working. So... Do I need more microscopes? I think so. I mean, I, 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 I'm really sure we do. Why don't we have a microscope? Oh, dude, let's do it this way. Let's have a microscope next to every table. And then two up here, because why not? We're a fancy school. Uh-oh. Hang on. Uh, floors. Marble. There. Thanks. Uh, let's take... So we have a bunch of money. Let's actually connect this up so that we these floors are connected. Good. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Also, this too. Good. So this whole walkway now is all concrete tiles. And as we expand the classrooms, you know, there's no reason for them to walk in the dirt here. They have the path, you know. Microscopes. Look at this. Look at these experiments. So they all stand at the, at the desks. I think we need another table. One, two. Uh, just this, just these two. Doing it over here makes it a little bit crowded. Eh! Does it though? 
Because if we just go ahead and dismantle that and that. And then, uh, you know, they have their microscopes like this already, right? So then we take the... We take the science cabinet, right? And we put it... I wish I could move it. Instead of having to destroy it. But we'll put a science cabinet in here. Just so the room doesn't lose its usefulness. And then we'll tear this down and put the science cabinet along the wall here. And that gives more room for these kids. That's probably way more microscopes than I need, but... I don't know. There's no description on how many I need per student or whatever, so we're just going to give my kids... Yeah, see, look, they, they, they all have to use this table, so... I'm almost considering... Well, no, we'll have two tables, so they'll all be able to do it. As soon as the workmen get on it. Okay, that's done. Good. Dismantle this, please. And then uh, science cabinet will go like this. There we go. Awesome. And then all the kids can get that. And then there's hand sanitizer for, you know, keeping their hands sanitary after they're done with their stations. Which maybe we should put more of these. I mean, granted, I think maybe one is only is only all we need. But um, if it was my science lab, right, I would have hand sanitizer like all over the place. Actually, I'd have a big sink too. We had a shower in ours. Like a big old shower. Chalkboard, periodic table. How's music class doing? Good. Are you guys enjoying your reading? Good. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I love this. I love this. The music right next to the library, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. Such a fantastic thing. This room is quite large. It doesn't need to be this big. We can always slide it over and make the library bigger if we need to, but. I don't know, music rooms are usually quite large, though. They're usually really big. Oh, they have to put their instruments in that cabinet. Oh, that's interesting. So the kids don't even have to take... They don't even take care of their own instruments? Is that how that is in, in the East? Like, all the instruments are in a big cabinet, and you just go grab it? And everybody uses the same one? See, see, we have our own instruments. Like, we're responsible for that instrument, right? Interesting. Uh, let's grab this. 200. Not quite yet. Linking up. Disciplinary efficiency. Monitor routing. Beautification. Oh, I like this. Oh, interesting. I didn't remember clicking that. Accept transfer students. This grant will transfer five freshman students. Okay. We have capacity for it, right? We certainly do. All right. Apply. There. We got more freshmen now. Now, do I need to add them to a classroom now? No. But having smaller classrooms would be a good thing. And we really should consider saving up our funds so that we can have, like, I want to have two, two teachers per subject. But in order to really justify that, I need to see our prestige go up, our rankings go up. I need to see more kids wanting to enroll so that admissions fills us up. Because right now, admissions doesn't really fill us up. Now, we could also take a few more seniors as well. I wonder how the transfer students are as far as the like, graduation. Is that going to ruin our rankings, though? Because what if those transfer students don't actually buy school lot number one, research by land? This gives me no money. No, a uh, 200 prestige. <sighs> gives me a lot though. Uh, you know what, beautification is probably fine. Decorative arts, place a fountain, planters, wood planters. We're not gonna get any money for that, but it's 50 prestige. So let's take a look at researching that. Uh, is it landscape? No, it's fancy. Decorative arts right here, 2000 bucks. And then we get, uh, is it just, yeah, decorative arts and then fountain, planter, all that stuff. Okay. Science lab being used. Look at these students. All these young minds. All these kids having their young minds expanded. I love it. 
And then, uh, we have some money. I think we start building this. We don't need it quite yet, but I'm going to lay down the flooring for these classes right here. Because, not freshmen, but sophomore and juniors. Or, sorry, us. Juniors have two classes already, um, but we're going to need more for the other grades. Probably juniors, too. And then I really want to... I really want to get more teachers. Make this a bigger school. It probably makes it more complicated when it's bigger, which is kind of what I'm counting on. So right now, it, I, I know it maybe doesn't seem like it, but I, I, I'm finding this a little bit easy. I want I want a bit more of a challenge here, which I plan on doing, actually. If you guys like it, if you guys like this game, uh, I kind of feel like going ultra hard mode with it. Because, I don't know, just see what, see what, the, see what you got, game. Uh, going with like really delinquent kids and uh, we can put them all that's when we can put them all in the orange jumpsuits They'll have a completely different uh, design because this one is like kind of influenced by my old high school as far as this design goes, but I uh, you know there's obviously not very efficient to have like the cafeteria clear over here. Oh, you guys are done eating cool Well go to class and it's half over by the time you get to class, right? We didn't really have that problem in my school because well, there was like a, a nice five minute gap between period end and next period start and five minutes was way more time than you needed to go from one place to the other so all right decorative arts done so place a fountain well that probably just it probably should be out here right is it decoration maybe it's what does it count as just all Oh, there's clocks. Good for telling time. I wonder. Oh, if I place clocks around here, are students going to start heading to class before the bell? I've noticed that they sit around, the bell rings, and they're like, oh, shit, and then they all run to class. I wonder if if putting clocks in classrooms helps them. Oh, dude, I, I wonder if I'm going to I'm gonna put it. Does that actually help them get to class on time? Let's put this by the door. Or not. I can't put it facing the other way. Interesting. All right, we'll paste it this way then. Clock there. Uh, clock there. And uh, let's have the clock be on this side, I guess. I don't know. And let's, I'm putting the clocks in every room. This might help. I wonder if it helps. Let's put the clock uh, behind the TV. Uh, we can put clocks outside. Maybe that'll help them. We can put clocks. We already did that. Clocks in the cafeteria? I think so. Right here. Let's see if this helps them get to class on time. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the thing they're struggling with. I have no idea. We're just spending money on clocks now, though. <laughs> I know that. Right above the hand sanitizer for you, and right above the hand sanitizer for you. We'll give that a shot. See if that does anything. $19,000 now. And all the flooring is mostly done. These rooms are all done with flooring. The walls are cued. Get rid of the planning lines. We don't need no stinking planning lines. I do need to complete the floor, though, because I did that thing again where I didn't actually do the doorways. Uh, there. And that's it. Yep. So doors go... We'll just complete this room, too. Why not? We have actual, like, a good money flow now, so... Beige go there. And drop this down there. And then objects for classrooms. Student desks. Okay. So desks are going to go like that. Desks are going to go like that. And they're going to go like that. Uh, too many. That's better. Uh, goons have been spotted. No big deal. Here we go. And done. Teacher's desks. We'll have one, let's say, it looks like it's always on the door side. So we'll go door side. 
Door side. Uh, door side. Door side. Door side. There we go. And then the chalkboard goes in the middle. One. Two. Uh, three. Four. All right, classrooms are all set up for our expansion. It's actually starting to look a little bit more orderly, like a school, you know? Just a bit more organized, like a school. What else are we missing? Is there any other rooms I haven't built yet? Common room AV services, clinic delivery, general school bus, staff cafeteria, right. So, staff cafeteria. I'm thinking we might go a little bit different route here because I want this to be expandable. I want to be able to move this down. So what I might do here is let's plan this out a little bit. Let's assume that this cafeteria is going to get expanded to here. This gives me enough room for one bench, table, bench, table. Well, this is three. Yeah. So this gives me enough room for one set, two sets. Okay. I can just do it right there or less. Or I can go laterally here too. Because if I did that, then it would be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six even along the back wall. Yeah. That's probably what we'll end up doing for the expansion on this. As long as we have enough, eventually, we, probably what we'll do is we'll have a lunch period will be separated by individual grades. So we won't have two, like freshmen and sophomores eating lunch together, juniors and seniors eating lunch together. We may end up, depending on how big the school gets, having only freshmen, then only sophomore, then only junior, etc. That may be a thing. Just repair the sofa. Why do my staff keep breaking all the sofas? Is this a fat joke? See, they all pause. Everyone stops and they're like, oh, it's 1258. And then they're like, oh, I gotta get to class now, you know? So I'm wondering if that, if the clocks are doing anything. That would be interesting though, wouldn't it? Like if the devs thought ahead on that and made it to where kids maybe are a little bit late, everyone's late for class. So they're losing like a couple of minutes every class and that's affecting their education just because they don't have clocks to see ahead of time what time it is. I mean, that's an idea. So at the end of day seven, we need 63. 63 progress on every subject. Otherwise, they're, they're potentially failing it. That's a big problem. Freshman PE is 36. I'm sorry, but why? What is going on here? It's the very end of the day, and Mr. Christopher Boland is... Oh, we have to replace him. We have to replace you. I'm sorry. You're just not doing the job, man. Uh, Mr. Wu, your language skills... Are, I'm going to replace you, too. I have enough for the signing bonuses on these things. So, uh, 60, 62, it's going to be you. So, Charlotte Wu, bye. And you are hired. P.E. Let's take a look. Christopher Boland with 28. We need a better P.E. teacher. Um, we already have a good math teacher. We already have a good language teacher now. Is there anyone that's really art? Yeah, we don't have a good art teacher either. Let's find somebody who's art or P.E. right here. 61. 61. Mr. Boland, I'm sorry. But you are uh, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Like, oh my god. That's horrible. And then uh, art teachers. Let's see. This is a history. I need a good art teacher. Let's find him. Right? That's history. PE 58. Yours is... What was yours? 61. Great. 56. Still don't see a good art teacher. Maybe we go for the better teacher's research. And that way, we're also 
like potentially finding doctorate level instructors. 61. 59 in science. Come on now. They're like, we're looking for a very specific subject, right? It's, it's going to be expensive to try and find that. Darn it. There we go. 64. Look at this guy. That's good. You are hired, sir. Welcome to my art department. All right. Everyone, every single teacher I have now has a master's degree. Okay? Every single one. So, I don't want to hear any excuses. We should be very prestigious after this. All right? We should be very good at what we do. These kids... Look at this guy. Going to defecate. All right. That is unacceptable. Actually, I should probably have some bathrooms over here. Like, if you get the pool and you're like, oh my god, I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom. You have to, like, either run outside for the shortcut or go around here and then all the way over here. We should have maybe have some, like, some little bathrooms. Like, little mini bathrooms. I think some right here would be a good idea, too. Or here. Maybe even over here. That's not a bad idea. I only have $3,000 left. Hiring teachers is very expensive. It's that upfront cost. And then we have this, uh... It's beautification. It's supposed to place a fountain. I have no idea where that even is. F is a fan. Cools down a room. Is that a... Oh, a flagpole. Infinitely flowing by... Uh, a flagpole. Cool. Uh, flagpole should absolutely be in front. Put a flagpole there. Um, as far as the... Fountain goes? It's only a water fountain. Where do I find... Maybe it's a build? Outdoors. Do we build a fountain? Oh, we do. We build it. It's $2,000. Look at how small it is. It's $2,000. Uh, we'll put it next to the flagpole, I guess. There. I built it. Are you happy? You sucked all my money out. And then tomorrow... Well, tomorrow we'll have enough money to do the rest of the beautification stuff, so... All right, every teacher, master's degree. It doesn't really help us that much this year because it's late in the year, but I'm hoping it can catch them up. At the end of day seven, we should see a 63. And uh, PE, although they are kind of getting there, they're not. We're also lacking in science and art right now. Barely hanging on with language. Sophomores are doing fantastic. All the sophomores are passing. That's phenomenal. Juniors. Got a little bit of struggle. Seniors, we're in good shape. We're going to be a little bit lower on art, but we're in good shape everywhere else. Right? So, <laughs> this is a bad deal, though, because uh, let's assume for a moment that uh, all the softwares pass and uh, a fair number of the juniors don't. We're going to have a huge junior class. We really need the seniors to step up and get out, get the hell out of there, too. <laughs> Oh, we're going to need more junior classrooms. I'm seeing it right now. Luckily, I've already expanded that. And we're going to need more teachers. Luckily, we're going to expand that too because we're selling our access. Like how we hear the we hear the band every time we go over near the music room. Even if they're not in there. It's like the room has its own soundtrack, right? Look at that fountain and the American flag. Booyah, baby. That's right. Hell yeah. Uh, what else? Build. So the grant says we're supposed to build two planters. Two planters. One there and one there, I guess. Wood planters. All right. Uh, we'll build those in here, I guess. Like that. And then place... Wood flower planters. I guess we'll do that uh, here and here. I think that's kind of it, right? 
We're supposed to place four of them. So there's a planter, then there's a flower planter. I see. We'll do that then. How you like me now? That's gonna be the beautification. And then at eight o'clock, fix over. We do not go bankrupt. We have 748 bucks left. And then we end up with 10 grand at the end of the day. And I think we hold the money because we're gonna need to hire more teachers. We absolutely need to hire more teachers next year. Uh, and I'm not sure if we can really afford masters, but I would like to get two teachers for every subject. And that means we need a lot more money. Thankfully, I think we can afford to just pay off this bank loan. Let's pay a portion of it, like right here. That way we're actually paying less per day now too. And then we can pay off that bank loan later. With the higher prestige, we can borrow more money, which means more, more uh, money for hiring better teachers. I don't know why the freshmen are doing so poorly in PE. How much students have learned for this subject affects probability of passing final exam. Motivation and teacher ability affects chances of learning during class. I mean, motivation is super high. It's off the chart. And now I've got like, you know, I've got her, Luraline Potaski, who is a 61 rank in PE here. So I don't know, man. I'm giving it, I'm giving it all she's got, you know. But this field, maybe that's not big enough. I don't know. The field seems big enough to me, but maybe we need a bigger field. Is that a thing? Uh, special rooms, just field. We'll just make it bigger. I don't think it's necessary, but because they were using it before, they were still using it before. Maybe it matters that it's grass. Does it need to be something different? I wouldn't think so. Also, I kind of want to have a walkway around the building too. Do we plant everything? We did. Awesome. Uh, what's next? School keeper. Place statuesque. Place male statue. Place female statue. How much do they cost? It's 2000 bucks each. You're not paying me any money. Which means I'll be left with $990. No thanks. Uh, buy land? No. We can't afford... Senior transfer students, I think at this point, is kind of, uh, like we're just asking to have, nah, we're just asking for problems there if we take another student on day eight. I might do transfer students like maybe day two. It gives me a chance to educate them. I assume they're transferring from a school that is more capable than mine, since mine is not that capable. I don't know. I'm gonna leave the video here. I think so. It's been, uh, it's been quite a bit. We're almost at 40 minutes. This is uh, my typical length of my videos. I like to keep them somewhere between a half an hour and 45 minutes if I can. And uh, this is a good place to stop, I think. We'll see the final exams to, uh, on the next video. And uh, we still have to provide staff, a staff canteen, which like I'm kind of thinking maybe he's going to go over here instead. Because we could put it over here too, but... It makes more sense to have it be attached to this faculty, this facility. So now it makes me think maybe I expand it this way. Expand the cafeteria this way. Then I have the meal trays lined up along this wall. We can have more trays, more chairs and stuff. And we might need another kitchen. Or not, not another kitchen, another cook. Possibly. I think we're catering to their, their food needs fairly well. Maybe more vending machines too. Like spread throughout the, the prison. Spread throughout the place. We could have more vending machines. Just as like a way for them to, you know, supplement the meal times. I don't know. 5,000 bucks in the bank. I'm gonna leave it here. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I appreciate your face. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Or, you know, you can give it a thumbs down if you hate it. Uh, you can comment down below. Love your comments. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.